In this uh, tutorial, we will look at uh, terminal velocity and Stokes expression more in descriptive terms. Uh, and later on in another tutorial, we will derive the expression uh, where we can determine uh, terminal velocity. So if we have a solid particle, or let's say a liquid droplet, which is initially at rest, and then we suddenly drop it in a fluid, that particle or droplet will first accelerate due to the influence of gravity, then it will reach a constant velocity. This velocity is called terminal velocity. If the density of the particle is less than that of the fluid, it will rise and the velocity will be called flotation velocity. The continuous phase or the medium in which we drop that particle or the droplet is the fluid and that fluid can be either liquid, for example water, or it can be gas or air. The uh, Stokes expression which we will derive in a separate tutorial uh, can be written as follows that ut which is the terminal velocity equals d square rho p minus rho f times g divided by 18 times mu where d is the diameter of that particle or the droplet uh, rho p is the density of the particle uh, rho f is the density of the fluid or the continuous media uh, which could be as we said before air or water mu is the viscosity of that continuous medium and g is the acceleration due to gravity which is uh, 9.81 meter per second square so in just descriptive terms if we look at this equation uh, the stokes expression we will note that the terminal velocity will increase with the particle diameter. In fact, uh, the particle diameter is, uh, that term is squared, so particle diameter has a considerable influence on the terminal velocity. The terminal velocity also increases with the difference in densities, densities of the particle and the fluid. Uh, so if that difference is small, uh, then the terminal velocity uh, will, will not be as high as, for example, if the difference is much larger. And also, uh, the terminal velocity will decrease with the viscosity of the fluid. So if you drop, for example, a uh, solid, uh, let's say a, a pebble or something, in honey, it will be moving very slowly because honey has got a much higher viscosity compared to, let's say, if we drop it in water uh, where the viscosity of water is uh, much uh, lower than that of uh, honey. So in this uh, tutorial, we have tried to get a descriptive understanding of terminal velocity and Stokes expression, we will, in a separate tutorial, uh, derive this expression. So you, you see how some of these terms uh, appear uh, in this equation.